So quick video on a favorite spoon. Freely, can you just show us the physique again quickly? Just show us the physique. Oh, come on, step over. I'll, I'll pay. I'll give you ten bucks later on. Oh yeah, I think that's from, good for my AdSense income. Come just come on over. Just show us, show us the physique. Oh. Step into the frame this here. This is for you, babe. This is for your views. All right. Views. So what's the date today? Twenty twenty eighth of March. No, <laughs> I, I said January today. Twenty eighth of May, twenty eleven. Just turn around and slide on again. There's a little doggy there. All right, now I'm going. All right. I've got my own video tonight. That's probably seven dollars fifty worth. Anyway, enough rambling. My favorite smoothie recipe ever. Now, I learned this at Doug Graham's Health and Fitness Week. Started off with ripe bananas. Where's a ripe banana? Here we go. A ripe banana is a spotty banana. Like that. So people go, oh, that's bruised, it's rotten. But no, here's the deal, man. It opens up. Now, these are local Australian bananas. They're sometimes a bit tough to open because they're picked a bit green. But when you're in... The US, those Ecuadorian bananas from Whole Foods are incredible. So much better than the stuff we get in Australia, typically 99% of the time. So inside it's perfect, isn't it? Absolutely unreal. Taste-wise, Australian bananas in general are quite a lot more bland than what you get in the US from Ecuador, Mexico, Costa Rica, Chile, Peru, etc. Or Thailand. There the soils a lot higher quality, so the, the flavor of the banana is more rich. There's more sugar content in those bananas than the Aussie bananas. These are still pretty good. Hey, it's all I can get. I'm grateful for it. But what I do, here's a little trick. This is more of an Australian smoothie trick if your bananas aren't that sugary, is I've got about 20 bananas in here. So around 2,000 calories. So around 350, 400 grams of sugar from the bananas. I like to underestimate, so that way I get to eat more. And what I like to do is I've got this organic sugar here. This is from any cold supermarket in Australia. And we've got about, about half a pound of sugar in here. So we're gonna slip that in there. Like pouring the sugar in. So pouring half a pound of sugar on top of the around 300 to 400 grams of sugar that's already in the bananas. And this is gonna take a little while. Still going. If you're not pouring sugar on your food, then you're not eating healthy, are you? Let me just give it a tap so we don't hit on the floor. Share this video with all the people who say sugar makes you fat. Because I've been doing this quite a while now. And uh, look at all my blood tests. Look at all my blood tests. Open this bad boy up. This is my secret of why I don't need stimulants to function. Sugar either organic refined sugar or fruit sugar from whole fruits. And uh, if these were Pisangaraja bananas in Malaysia, I wouldn't, need, wouldn't be doing this because they're so sweet over there. But the Australia fruit quality is a little bit low, so you have to sort of make do with some compromises. I've found out. I never used to do stuff like this, but I never had the energy that I have now because I, would, I was eating good, but I wasn't getting enough sugar to really dominate on a physical and emotional level, I was sort of like, you know, cold weather, I just leave Australia, go to Thailand straight away. But now the weather's, winter's just started here in Australia, and I'm not going to Thailand straight away, getting some calories in. So this is probably not the most efficient way to pour sugar into your smoothie, taking a bit of time. So okay, so we've got the half a pound of sugar <laughs> on top of the bananas. Looks like I'm doing cocaine. And water here, what water do I drink? Reverse osmosis water. I'm a big fan of getting quality water. This is reverse osmosis. Can't smell the chlorine. Here's a tip. If you're in a place and you don't have a water filter, get water from the tap and leave it for a few hours or even overnight if you can, and the chlorine will mostly evaporate from the water. This tastes sensational. Tastes sensational. So we're gonna pour this water into this smoothie. Try not to get too much on the floor. The dogs can lick it up. And I'm gonna fill it up about a third of the way. So you can sort of see that third to a half-ish. Now my tip is that this is my smoothie. You can add in organic rice milk, which I'll do occasionally. You can add in organic soy milk. What you want to do though is have the, the, the plant milks that have the least fat content, okay? You don't want to be adding a lot of fat to your smoothies because this is going to 
thicken up your blood in a negative sense. You don't want lipemia. The body needs very little fat as an adult, okay? So you want to have, if you're going to use the soy milk or rice milk, use a brand with a very low fat intake. Just go for all the, all the, you know, the per ounce or per 100 grams, whatever you're watching from, and pick the one with the least fat. Ideally, one gram of fat per 100 mils or less is what you want. If you want peak vitality, eat less fat, more sugar. No caffeine, no cacao. And here's the tip for blending it, all right? Can we see that? It's a bit too far. Out of screen there. And people go, Harley, you're looking a bit thin there, mate. Now, sugar makes you fat, but you're looking too thin during it. <laughs> I didn't even have a lid for this thing. Unorganized, not enough carbs. Let's go get a lid. All right. Now, here's the magic tip. We squeeze that in, so much bananas and sugar in here, the smoothie cap won't even get on. You've got to scram it down. Now, here's the tip. We want to pulse this. Come over here, come over, come a bit closer, a bit closer. That's it. Just have a look at this. Focus on the blender. Focus on my hand, just here. So we're just pulsing it. This is how to bake, make the best smoothies ever. And what we're doing is we're not letting that vortex form, all right? That reduces oxidization, makes it taste even better. We want food that tastes fucking amazing. This smoothie is incredible. So just let it. Easy on the throttle. You do about 30 pulses. we're done now that this is about a this is about a seven pound meal this feels pretty good all right now you can sort of see in that beautiful beautiful so this is organic bananas reverse osmosis water certified organic refined cane sugar whoa now you got to taste this to believe it, man. This is like drinking white chocolate without the grease, without the theobromine. This is incredible. This whole smoothie, around, you know, 500 to 600 grams of carbs in it, under 10 grams of fat. Now, that's what you're talking about. Now the secret is I like to slowly enjoy my meal. So I'll have this next to my laptop. I won't be guzzling it down. Just be slowly drinking it, maybe drinking it over the next 20 minutes, half an hour. Don't need to rush your meals. Don't need to rush your meals. So that's a smoothie anyone can make. Very cheap, very easy to get ingredients. Tastes incredible, very nutrient dense, very sustaining. Are you gonna wanna have a chocolate bar for this? A raw Krakow bar or a Hershey's bar or Reese's button up. Mm. The pulsing tip is the best tip I've ever learned for making a banana smoothie. So good. Now people will say, Harley, but I'm a bit concerned because that is a lot of sugar. It is. Every cell in the human body runs on sugar. Glucose and fructose preferred fuels of the body. This is the reason why I am so lean. This is the reason Freely is so lean when she used to be fat. Sugar is the secret, my friends. That's the secret. Most people have sugar, they have in a fucking Snickers bar or a donut where it's 50% calories coming from fat. This is like 95% calories coming from carbs. Or let's say 90 plus coming from carbs, 5% fat. Probably three or four or five percent protein. So very little fat. If you want less fat in your body, eat less fat, more sugar. How many obese people do you know who live on this stuff? When they're having sugar, they're having sugar in a soft drink, in a soda, high fructose corn syrup, genetically modified, whatever. But I still don't think that makes people fat, does it, really? It's the burgers and shit they have it with it. Go and walk down the street and follow someone who's really overweight, maybe my mum, and look what they eat. They have a little bit of sugar, 
and they have a lot of fat with it. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. If you want to get lean, focus on the fruits. If fruit's not sustaining enough for you, then add in some organic sugar to your foods. See what happens to your energy levels. See what happens. See how easy it is to get off the coffee. I haven't had a cup of coffee since 1999, so I require natural methods that are healthy and naturally vibrant producing natural vitality. Basically what I'm trying to say is drug-free vitality. That's my goal, and that's what I'm achieving on a daily basis. So look at my blood tests, look at my body fat levels, look at my videos from the last few years and how I'm always slim and same with Freely. Maybe some of the things people get told out there, maybe they aren't true. Maybe the, the people who own a lot of these large food corporations want to confuse people and say, don't eat too much sugar, sugar makes you fat. Don't you, you know, so, oh, if you're going to have sugar, might as well have a Snickers bar. Might as well have some Hershey's. You may as well. I mean, it's the same as eating a smoothie, isn't it? It's exactly the same, they tell you. <laughs> exactly the same. Do it, for, do it for a month. Live on bananas, sugar, and water for a month. Throw in some greens from the garden. For, do it for a month. And then live on Hershey's chocolate bars for a month. See what happens. Calories are a calorie? No fucking way, man. Calorie is not a calorie. Calories are not all created equal. This is health supporting. That stuff, it ain't health supporting, man. So there you go. Post your comments and questions down below. What's your favorite smoothie recipe?